when we throw us the figures around the fact that the construction industry is reliant on a lot of UK skills labour, which potentially we might be losing over the next two, three years. So I think there's a, there's a real challenge in terms of a skills shortage. We're going to have a low skilled workforce which is coming into potentially a quite a high skilled complex assembly process. So we're going to need better ways to actually accelerate people's learning, accelerate people's development to make sure that the UK construction industry can respond to the challenges going forward. Well, immersive tech is, is important for two reasons really. One, I think it can really enhance the learning experience. I think it's engaging, it allows you to put people in environments and give them experiences that we can't do in the classroom, essentially. But the other advantage is, of course, more and more, this is exactly the tech that people will end up using in their careers and professions when they move into industry. And we wouldn't be equipping them properly for those careers if we weren't giving them that appreciation at college. What it's also doing is attracting a whole different breed of young people in particular who perhaps wouldn't have considered the construction sector before as an industry they would have liked to have engaged with, which I think is really important. The virtual technology at Dudley College is probably one of the reasons why I wanted to get the opportunity to study and learn here because I feel like this would benefit my future greatly. We learn through play. So we can start to train operators by changing the process that they would normally do and bringing in features from games that they might not normally expect. We can also bring in stats and information like you'd normally see in a game to give them more information so they know more about what they're working with as they're working with it. Because it's a virtual space, it's a matter of Control-Z, undo, restart, reset. We don't have to buy in a whole new part or restart completely. It's much more cost efficient and cheaper to be training guys in a virtual space whilst giving them real world skills and experience. We got the simulators earlier in the year, so it saves costs on machine and damage to machines when you get a, like a new learner as such who might not know the layout of the controls quite so well. So definitely the main reason we got on was like to try and bring people forward a bit more and obviously bring technology into our training. It's a lot safer than just getting chucked out in the machines first time round, getting to grips with the controls, learning what they do. And then if anything, I thought it made the real machines feel easier. So it, it definitely works. It's a good concept. VR is a great training tool and when you start looking at when we're combining VR through to augmented reality, there is huge benefits for immersive technology within construction. 